Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, the latest addition to the Line 6 Helix modeling family. Let's get started. <laughs> Today I'm joined by Don Carr, guitarist extraordinaire here at Sweetwater. Don, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Mitch. And we are checking out the brand new Helix LT from Line 6. Now this is the latest member of the modeling effects amplifier systems from Line 6, part of the Helix family, and it uses the exact same HX modeling technology that's found in the Helix and the Helix rack. So Don, what we have here, the Helix LT, mm -hmm. is basically a, I guess you could say kind of a uh, downsized or light version of right. the full-on Helix. It comes in at about two-thirds the price, mm -hmm. but the big question is going to be, how does it compare to the full-on Helix? Yeah, what is the real difference, right? And so, as far as I can tell, it just seems to be physically. I mean, all of the stuff under the hood is exactly the same, or really, really close. It, no, you're exactly right. It's exactly the same. We've got the exact same analog to digital and digital to analog converters. Right. We've got two shark chips, just like mm -hmm. the Helix. The presets are compatible, right, back right. and forth. They sound exactly the same. They're yep. sonically the same. Mm -hmm. Even the computer editor works exactly mm -hmm. the same as it does wow. with the regular Helix. Yeah, it sure sounds and feels the same when you're playing it. The real difference is, when you come down to it, is that the uh, casing is a little bit different. This is a steel casing instead of the aluminum casing on the Helix. This has eight stop switches instead of the ten that are on the Helix, and we don't have the scribble strips, but instead we have a new performance view, which you can see here on the screen of the Helix LT. Basically, this screen takes the place of those scribble strips, and you can toggle between that and the signal flow by simply hitting the home button. All the editing functions are exactly the same as they are on the Helix. We simply go to the signal flow. We can select our modules or the different editing functions by simply touching the switches. So in this case, I've called up the, uh, the tempo selections. We can go back and look at the cab selections again. We navigate in exactly the same way. We have two signal paths. We have all the exact same models for all the effects, all the cabinets, all the amplifiers, and all the microphones. So functionally, from the front panel, there's very little difference between this and the Helix. One difference to note is that the volume control in this case is a master volume control that works on all the outputs. The headphones, the digital outputs, the main outputs are all controlled from the volume control, whereas the Helix has a separate headphone volume control. Some of the other differences become apparent when you check out the back panel where all of the connections are for the Helix LT. Beginning on the far left, we have an input for a second expression pedal. This is switchable, so it can either be an expression pedal input, or you can use it as an output to control your amplifier channel switching. We've got our guitar input. We have two sets of effects send and returns for incorporating external pedals, and those can be linked together in stereo. On the Helix, we have four of those, so in this case, you could either run two pedals or one pedal in stereo. We have stereo XLR outputs for our main outputs, and those can be fed to a recording system or to your live sound PA console. We also have stereo quarter inch outputs for connecting into guitar amps. A headphone output, a Variax input for connecting one of Line 6 Variax guitars. Next up we have the digital output, which can switch between AES EBU and with an adapter also be used for SpeedIF digital connections, or you can use that for the L6 connection format from Line 6. MIDI input and output allows us to control external gear or to control the Helix LT externally. Next up we have a USB port. Now this serves multiple functions for us. First of all, it can serve as an audio interface with your computer. Connect it up to your computer, and you can record eight channels out, or bring eight channels back in. You can also use this to reamp direct tracks that you've recorded into your DAW. MIDI control is available over USB, or you can use the USB port to connect your computer, as I have here, to use the editor software from Line 6. And this is a great way to be able to see exactly what's happening inside the Helix LT, and control it all from your computer. It also allows you to store a ton of different presets and to organize them very easily. 
Don, I know both of us have become such fans of the Helix platform. Yeah. So many great tones there, so many different effects, so many different amplifiers, and with two signal paths, you can get so much going on. Exactly, you can organize it any way you need to, which right. is great. Right, exactly. And it's easy to use as well, with mm -hmm. those touch sensitive buttons, the mm -hmm. way you can navigate on the screen, the performance view. It really is an easy device to get around on. It certainly is. And, you know, of course, with the uh, connection to a computer, then you've got your full screen in front of you as well. Right, and that makes it even easier yeah. as, far as, as right. far as that goes. But I would have no hesitation having this on the gig oh. and bending down and making an edit and saving things. Oh, I mean, it's yeah, very it'd fast, be very easy. Super easy to do that. One yeah. of the nice things is you don't have to dive into menus. It's kind of all right there mm -hmm. in front of you. Exactly. The screen is big enough that you're not, you know, having to pick and choose all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's really a great user interface. Yeah. If you've been looking to check out the Helix and all that it can provide for your studio, for your live rig, for practicing, for sound design, the Helix LT is a great way to get into it. It offers all the power with the exact same presets, exact same sonics, and functionality of the Helix, yet it comes in at a more accessible price. Really a cool choice if you're looking to build your rig around a modeling system. Don, thanks for sharing your guitar expertise with us here. We've got a ton more presets to demo for you at the end of this video, so be sure to check those out. And thank you for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.